Over the last several months, I've been hooked on a tool that makes it easy to search and actually find award availability for business and economy flights around the world. With a few filters and clicks, you can narrow in on what dates have saver award space for the flights that you want. Or at the very least, you'll know that there's no award space so you don't have to waste your time searching a bunch of websites. This is your guide on how to use seat.aero and how to maximize your search. My name is Max and I help people maximize their airline miles, hotel points, and credit card points. I have a goal of hitting 50,000 subscribers in a couple of months. If you can help me out and hit the like and subscribe button down below, I would really appreciate it and it really does help out my channel. Put that out of the way, let's get started with this video. Seats.Arrow is a search tool that's helpful in identifying saver award space. A key concept when it comes to miles and points is finding saver award availability. Saver award availability refers to the best flight deals in miles and points and with the lowest amount of points required for an award flight but oftentimes it's the hardest award space to find, especially for business class. The great thing about Seats.Aero is that it's helpful in quickly identifying saver award space for flights and routes that you might be interested in. So let's jump over to my computer and I'll show you how Seats.Aero works. So I'm here on Seats.Aero and how I got here is typing in this URL. And so this is the home page. And this goes over all the features that Seats.Aero has. One thing to note is that there are two different tiers of Seats.Aero. There's the free version and there's the paid version. And you can see that here. Seats.Aero is free forever, but if you want extended award availability, then you have to pay $7.99 a month, which is not too bad in my opinion. If you use the free version, you see award availability for the next 60 days. If you have the paid version, you can see award availability beyond 60 days. And so it can be up to 11, 12 months in advance. And so that's where like, if you're just looking for a last minute award space, then the free version might be for you. If you're looking for award availability that's further out than 60 days, then you need the paid version, which will show you that award availability. If you wanna use my affiliate link, I'll link it down in the comments and in the description as well. When you use my link, it helps support my channel. Seats.Aero is not paying me to say any of this. They haven't reviewed this video. I paid for my own Seats.Aero membership. So so it's not sponsored in any way. I'm just gonna show you the free version so you can get a feel for what the free version is like. You'll see that it's limited on award availability for 60 days, but at least you'll know what the free version is like. So let's get started on actually searching for award availability. First, I'm gonna go click on Explore up here. This will take me to this page. So the Explore page is best news for anybody that's flexible on dates and flexible on routes. And if you don't mind positioning to a different city to take advantage of award availability, then this page is for you. So let's go through all the features here. Up top here, this is the most important part up here, is this drop down and it shows you nine different airline mileage programs. And so these are the airline programs that Seat.Aero is able to search. Aero Mexico, Air Canada, American Airlines, Avianca Life Miles, Delta, Emirates, Etihad, United, and Virgin Atlantic Flying Club. Seats.Aero is able to search these mileage programs, but when they search these mileage programs, they're actually searching that airline's flights and its partner flights as well. So for example, if I select United, it's actually searching United Operated Award Availability as well as United Partner Award Availability as well. And so it's searching United Airlines, it's searching Lufthansa, it's searching Swiss, ANA, and all the other Star Alliance partner airlines that partner with United. So you have to know a little bit of knowledge about airline partnerships and alliances to make this make a little bit more sense. So in this case, let's go ahead and select United Mileage Plus. So now all the information on this page is based off of what Seats.Aero found on United Mileage Plus. So it's showing United Award Availability as well as United Partner Award Availability. Up top here, it shows you soonest flights in economy, soonest flights in business class, and soonest flights in first class that has award availability. This is not too useful to me because I'm typically not booking award flights the day before, and so it's nice to know, but really I'm not booking anything the day before. Right below that is the show flights from anywhere to anywhere. This is where you can filter the results based off of regions. And so let's go from North America to Asia. And so this table down here filters the award availability for all the routes from North America, which means Canada, the US, Mexico, and Central America to Asia. This checkbox down here is pro, which is show award availability. If you have the pro version, you can check that and it'll show you award availability 11, 12 months in advance. If you don't have the pro version, this is only showing you 60 days of award availability. What I like to do is change this to 100 and this will populate the list a little further so I don't have to click through a bunch of pages. And so the table here is labeled at the top. Date, last check is the last time that seats.arrow searched that award availability or found that award availability departure arrivals 
and then the class of service. All of these table headers are actually sortable. And so if you want to sort by date, you can check on that. And that will sort by date. If you want to sort by class of service, you can click on economy and they'll sort by class of service. Green bubble means there's economy award availability, but it's a direct nonstop flight. Whereas a blue bubble would signify that it has a connecting flight. Let's go to business, for example. And so this shows us all the routes that have business class award availability that are nonstop between North America and Asia. Table filters are great, but my favorite tool is this search bar up here. And so this is where you can type in cities, city pairs, and also dates and sometimes dates and city pairs as well. For example, I want to fly from the US to Taiwan. And if I type that in, it filters out all the results showing North America routes to Taipei only. And so San Francisco, LAX, Chicago, New York, YYZ is Toronto. And it shows me all that award availability from North America to Taipei only. Say I want to fly from San Francisco only. And so if I type that in, it filters based off of that only and shows me all the award availability from San Francisco to Taipei. Say I want to fly on 223-05-23. Then that filters that down even further and identifies the specific flight that I'm looking for. If I hover over the green bubble, it tells me it's 92,000 miles. There's one seat available. BR means that it's EVA air. And so that's the IATA airline code two letter airline code for the airline. And so you have to be somewhat familiar with the airline code to understand what airline is operating that flight. And it's a nonstop direct flight. If I click on the information button here, there's economy. We were looking for business class. And so if I click on that, I have the option to click on this book via United Mileage Plus. And the cool thing about this is that it deep links me to the United page and the award availability matches up over on the United page. EVA Air, 92,000 miles and five dollars and 60 cents so we found award availability for the flight from san francisco to taipei and so that's how easy it is to find award availability here on seats.aero we can also search over on air canada if we wanted to and switch over that and it'll deep link us into the air canada page since we found the award availability and we confirmed it over on the united page that means we can transfer our credit card points over to united if we want to or we can shop this around and book it through a partner airline page like air canada life miles Singapore Airlines or other Star Alliance partner airlines. So that's the overall process. You search on seats.arrow, narrow down, find that award availability, confirm it on the airline's website, and then transfer your credit card points to that airline and book through that airline's page. So that's the Explorer page. And the Explorer page is most useful if you're flexible on dates as well as flexible on repositioning to different cities because it gives you a bunch of different options. So when you select North America to Asia, it gives you all the options that potentially can get you from North America over to Asia, for example. So that's where the Explorer page will be most useful if you're super flexible. But if you want a more specific search and you're looking for a very specific route, that's where the next feature of seats.aero is most useful. So here on seats.aero, if you click on the search tool, this takes you to a different tool that instantly searches availability on routes across all the supported airlines at once for a specific date. And so remember on the Explorer page, we had to pick which airline program we wanted to search. Well, this page searches all of the airline programs all at one time, all nine of these airlines, and then it searches based on the origin and the destination airport that you input as well as the departure date. So for example, if I put in Newark to London Heathrow and I select the 31st, I'm gonna go ahead and check plus or minus seven days for now and click search. It searches American Airlines, United, Life Miles, Air Canada Aeroplan, Etihad, as well as Virgin Atlantic, Delta, and all of the other airlines that are supported by seats.aero here and it outputs all the flights that have award availability on this page. So it narrows it down quite a bit based on a very specific route that you input as well as the dates as well. And so we can click on business and you sort this very similar to the way that you sort on the Explorer page and you can use this search bar as well. And as you can see here, there are three flights that have nonstop business class award availability and there's a couple more options down here that also have connections as well. If you wanna level up your search on this page, if you click on learn more about this feature, there's multi-airport codes, which allows you to search multiple airports all at one time. 
And so for example, if I type in CAL, which is for California, it will search all the California major airports all at one time. If I put in USA, it will search all the large airports in the United States all at one time. And so take, let's take USA for example, and let's go ahead and close this first. I'm gonna type in USA. This should output a lot more results, and it does. So I'm gonna sort this, and so this shows me Virgin Atlantic, American Airlines. Go to the next page. There's Air Canada Aeroplan, there's Life Miles. If I type in Cal, that will give me all the award availability from all the airports in California. That includes San Jose, that includes San Francisco, LAX, even San Diego as well. So the multi-city airport codes is super helpful in searching multiple airports all at one time. That's the benefit of the search page. It's very specific on the route that you search and also date as well. It narrows down your search for a very specific route for very specific dates that you specify. There's one more way to search on seats.arrow and that's by routes. I'm gonna go on up here and click on routes. And this tells us that this page shows the routes that are being tracked for availability on United Mileage Plus or whichever airline that you pick up here. For example, if we type in TPE Taiwan, then that means we can search these routes through United Mileage Plus and we click on find availability. Then it will give us the award availability between those two cities. So this is between Seoul and Taiwan, for example. And then this looks very similar to the Explorer page where you can filter up here based on regions. And then you can also use the search bar up here. Not the most useful, but some people might find it useful to see which routes are covered based on the airline and that you can find on seats.arrow. That's how you use seats.arrow to maximize your miles and points. Again, my affiliate link will be in the description and in the comments. Using the links help support my work. If you have any questions about seats.arrow, comment below. If you check out this video, I'll show you how to use seats by which is another awesome tool to find award availability. You can use it to find award flights for KLM, Air France, United, British Airways, and a few other airlines. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.